this is Will Smith. Oh, this is so. <laughs> I like how you see him, bro. You sharp, Abby? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a fake video call using the latest Rube Cam. So, if you want to get this latest Rube Cam, check the link in the description. It's a Google Drive file, so you're going to download it as you can see. So, once you download it from the Google Drive, you're going to see the file like this on your home page. So, this is the latest Rube Cam. So follow me. Now, how do you even set up Rubcam? First of all, you're going to open up your Chrome browser. So I'm going to open up my Chrome browser as you can see here. So once I click on Chrome, I'm going to download WinRAR. So you're going to go here and I'm going to download WinRAR on your laptop. So you're going to come here and click on download. So after downloading WinRAR, you're going to install WinRAR on your laptop. I've already installed it, so there's no need for me to install it. So how do I extract Rubcam? It's going to be like this. Extract to... They are going to click on desktop. They are going to click on new folder. They are going to click on OK. So because I've already extracted it before, I don't want to extract it again because it's going to create another folder. You can see. So I'm going to click on cancel. I'm going to click on X. So how do we even use this software? So this is the folder here. I'm going to double click on it and it's going to open up immediately. Now, most of you guys are familiar with this interface, but there's a spoiler here. It's only for NVIDIA laptops. So you need a gaming laptop in order to run this software. Now, please note everything in this video is for educational purposes only. I'm only teaching you guys how to prank your friends, your family members, or anybody that you have connections with. So let's see how to use this software. So first of all, you have to understand that this one only works on NVIDIA laptops. So you can see start portable NVIDIA. There is no start portable CPU in this. So I'm just going to double click on start portable NVIDIA. And when I double click on start portable NVIDIA, it's going to start loading up. And I'm going to see my camera blink for a second. So you guys can see here, my camera blinked for a second. All right, so this is the software over here. I know it looks complicated, but I can explain. Now, this is the latest version of this particular Ripcam. Now, let me show you guys a new feature that made me to even make this video. Over here, we have the resolution. So this resolution is for the face resolution. So if the face resolution is too low, you can make it higher from here. So let me click on this resolution button and you can see different resolutions. So if it's too much for your laptop, you can lower the resolution of the face. If your laptop is powerful enough, you can make it a 1080 resolution. So my laptop is capable because it's an RTX laptop. So I'm just going to select 1080 and I'm going to select the picture that I want to use and prank my friend. Now, this interface may be confusing to you, but you don't really need much. You just need a few buttons and you're good to go. Over here, this is where you're going to select your picture. Then one good thing about this is that if you want it to detect the target face from the right, you can enable it. And if you don't want it to detect the target face from the right, you can put it off. You understand? Then also, this has a very, very good face enhancer which enhances the quality of the face you can either put it on or put it off but the most important one is the resolution because if something is low resolution it's not going to be clear enough for you to see so i put it on the highest resolution because my laptop is capable enough now let's select a face that we're going to use to prank our friends the face i'm going to use to prank my friend is actually a celebrity's face and it goes by the name will smith we're just doing this for educational purposes we are not <laughs> doing any other thing so i'm just going to come here and click on select face then i'm going to scroll down and select the face that i want to use now don't be scared it's going to greet you with this prompt just click on ok there is no issue now over here you can see where i put the picture you go to your local disk then you put the picture there now i'm going to double click on that picture and you can see the picture is showing up here so let's see the power of this software how do we even use it so you can see this live button over here i'm just going to come here and click on live and when i click on live you will see my camera okay it's going to start blinking i don't need an external camera like the previous year because this laptop comes with a webcam already and it's clear enough so you can see it's going to start loading and it's going to load up the full interface now you can see that i look like will smith but the problem is that 
there is no voice changer in this particular software so if you want one that has a voice changer you can watch this video over here it's going to explain everything to you about the fake video call with the voice changer now i'm going to prank my friend on a video call but those of you guys that are asking for the one that has a voice changer you can watch this video over here that is showing up by your right you can check the video out it has the one that has a voice changer and you can subscribe to the channel at the same time now let me go and call my friend and see his reaction on whatsapp in order to make a fake video call on whatsapp this is what you have to do first of all you're going to open up your chrome browser then you're going to search for ndi6 tools so you can see ndi6 tools you're going to click on it and when you click on it you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this area over here all these links are in the description of this video so i'm going to click on it and when i click on it it's going to take me over to this page now at this page i'm just going to click on windows so when i click on windows it's going to take some time to start downloading we are going to see it downloading over here now i've already downloaded it before i don't need to download it again so i'm going i'm just going to go here and i'm going to cancel it to save data because more data is expensive <laughs> now after downloading the ndi okay i'm just going to click on my windows button and i'm going to search for ndi so i'm going to type n d i so when i type n d i you guys can see n d i so it's called n d i six tools so i'm just going to open up n d i six tools so when i open up n d i six tools what's the next thing we are going to do the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this webcam button we're going to double click on it and when we double click on it it's not going to come up like this it's going to show up over here this arrow over here when i click on it this is where it's going to show up but first of all let me show you guys the first thing you have to do you're going to open up your obs studio okay click on obs open it up and when you open up obs studio you're going to go to your tools section you can see this tools section over here i'm going to click on tools then i'm going to click on distro av ndi then i'm going to enable this main output if this is not enabled nothing is going to make it work on whatsapp trust me so after this i'm going i'm just going to click on okay so when i click on okay i'm going to click on start virtual camera don't forget to click on start virtual camera or else it's not going to work so i'm going to click on start virtual camera then i'm going to come over here again i'm going to click on this button and i'm going to click on ndi and i've set it before but i'm going to show you guys how i set it so i'm going to click on the settings i'm going to click on desktop obs you're going to do it for all these four like this okay the reason why i'm doing it for all of them is so that if you're calling somebody on a video call it's not going to show any any of your face or anything like that it's just going to be like a prank you understand so after you've set it up like this you're now going to open up the whatsapp you want to call the person so let me open up my whatsapp This is Will Smith. Oh, this is so. <laughs> I like how you say him, bro. You sharp, Abi? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, bro. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Now, I couldn't complete that video because the video was too long. But if you want a better description of that video, watch this video over here. If you want to learn how to make a fake video call and change your voice watch this video over here all right guys thank you guys for watching i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye